Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to talk about something uh, pretty important, and that is I wanted to discuss uh, how people treat us. And uh, this goes for uh, you know ladies that are real estate agents and also ladies that are in business. Uh, a lot of you probably are out there dealing with clients and people that work with you maybe in your office or wherever, even in your family. Um, uh, <clears throat> if you've watched my uh, recent video, I shared my story. It was kind of like a vlog about my recent experience in door knocking. And uh, I haven't given that up yet. Uh, I will not give this up. I will keep on going. Uh, and probably, like I mentioned in my other video, I will uh, report back to you on how it's going. So far, it's going pretty well. But uh, during my last door knocking experience, uh, something happened to me. And I figured I'm going to jump on here really quick and talk about it to maybe help you out uh, if you experience something like this. Uh, and give you some tips and uh, and tricks on how to deal with a situation like this. So uh, most of the time when I door knock, I encounter people that are really nice to me. Uh, as I mentioned in my other video, the trick that I do is just you know smile um, right when they open the door, so this way they they don't feel so threatened by me. But I did have one experience where even though I was smiling. Uh, there was a lady who really was not happy about the fact that I knocked on her door and she was um, really mean to me. And, uh, you know, like the first reaction when you encounter something like this is to just to be mean back to that person. But uh, I decided to just to be, uh, you know, nice to her. And uh, I wished her a lovely day. And I just quickly removed myself from the situation. You have to understand there's always going to be some kind of a person that you encounter that is miserable with their lives. And no matter what you do and what you say, uh, they are going to be miserable. Uh, I don't know why they are miserable, why she was not happy, but that's actually um, none of my concern. Uh, it's really easy to fall into the trap of just giving up during that minute and stop doing what you're doing because that one person spoiled it. Um, the best way to just look at this whole situation is to look at all the nice people that I encountered during my uh, door knocking session that were nice to me and focus on them. So look at the positives, not negatives, because we do have sometimes have tendency to uh, focus on the negative, especially if the negative, um, you know, injures us emotionally. Um, you know, what I did is I went back to my car to kind of compose myself because I'm still human and things like that. <clears throat> still, you know, have ability to temporarily affect me, but I decided not to let that affect me. I just went into my car. Uh, I made a quick video to, to, to my group. I posted it for them. I posted the, the uh, sound bite that I recorded of her being mean to me. I didn't record her. I just recorded the sound bite because I document my, my door knocking experience sometimes to the group that I'm part of. Um, I'm part of coaching group. and I love to share my experiences with them. They share theirs with me. Uh, so I did that. I recorded uh, the little video for them. <laughs> it was very raw. I composed myself, I had a drink of water, um, ran over through my script again, and I went back out to door knocking. I just did what I did. I focused on uh, the positive, not the negative. So with that being said, uh, the, the tip that I wanted to give you uh, in business and in real estate, and in the real estate, this is really important, is that people will treat you the way you will let them to treat you. So if you are meeting clients and you are forming new relationships, whether it's with friends or acquaintances or neighbors or clients or whoever, and in real estate, this is really important. You have to establish boundaries and uh, lines of communications in the beginning of your relationship. Uh, when you meet a new client, tell them, when you are available for phone calls, when you're available to meet with them, when you're not reachable, don't let 
uh, them walk all over you only because they are your clients. And the same thing with friends. Uh, just recently, I had somebody in my life that was not returning my phone calls, telling me they're going to call me back, constantly doing the same thing over and over. Uh, you know what? I don't need people like that in my life. Life is really short and it's actually so short that it's not even funny if you think about it. Um, I just listened to a YouTube video of this one guy saying how you have... 38, if you have 38 uh, years left of your life, that's 38 holidays and 38 winters and 38 summers. That's pretty. That's a pretty short chunk of amount of time to be on this earth, to be surrounding yourself with people that mistreat you. So you have to set the standard for the way people treat you in business and in personal life uh, yourself. No one is going to carve that out for you. And that's what I'm doing as well. And that might sound like I'm a little bitchy, but you know what? Whatever. If that's what uh, people uh, think I am, that's fine. But I have no time to waste. I am generally a really nice person, sometimes even too nice. And if I allow people walk all over me, forget it. <laughs> I'm not going to get anything uh, accomplished because people will just take advantage of that. So that's basically it. I wanted to just uh, share that experience with you, let you know that if you encounter anything negative, go back and think about everything else that was positive during uh, that, um, uh, that day. Uh, focus on the positive uh, people. Surround yourself with people who, uh, I love this phrase, uh, surround yourself with people who feel like sunshine. Uh, don't let people trample all over you just because they feel they can set boundaries with your personal uh, acquaintances as well as your business contacts and uh, people will respect you more uh, for being assertive and confident in how you let them treat you than being you know a people pleaser and just letting everybody you know do whatever they want to you so that's it i hope you're having a great um, month a great week in your business if you have any questions or comments, feel free to jot them below. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for future content.